Welcome back, ZRK fans, to Nanalyze the Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have another 1v1 at Ansonia 400 playing Hovercraft against Etsuri, also on Hovercraft, because at Ansonia, it's a water map. Although, to be fair, we've actually seen a lot of Anthbot in this map for a while, so Hovercraft feels like a bit of a change of pace, at least for what's been casted. Now, it's, it remains to be seen how much of a change of pace it'll be in terms of overall Hovercraft play. And so far, both players going for light daggers, some quills, like a dagger for scouting, some quills for building up. Quite a few actually coming from Etsuri. Both players really want to get that reclaim and expansion going as soon as they can. Because why not? Get the energy reclaim. You don't have to worry about building up power plants too much. You just build, you just get the energy reclaim, you build up the metal out, and use that later on to get power plants. Though to be fair, 400 is actually getting a lot of power plants early on. They aren't really worrying about reclaim too much. They are getting the reclaim and making good use of it. They're just not relying on it too much. I like this. This timing seems to work out pretty well. Same time, though, it looks like Etsuri will be able to win out this... No, never mind. It is a draw. Both daggers just kill each other. But the real winner is 400, because they're able to reclaim this. This, what, 100 metal worth, I think? 64... Not even. Wow. 64 metal worth. My bad. So, yeah. Tiny amount of metal, but hey, it, every little bit helps at this level of play. So, 400... Got their nice little overdrive you set up. And they have... Actually, that's really nice. That is really nice. That is really clean. Like, four solar collectors in the middle of the, middle of the base, connecting all three metal extractors. That was... That's good placement. On the other hand, Etsuri focusing more on wind power plants, which I wouldn't recommend. Look at the numbers. 0 0.2 to 2.5 wind range. Like, that is not what you want. If you're trying to go primarily on wind power. Now it looks like Etsuri will have some backup power on solar collectors, but... Yeah, wind power on this map is generally not recommended. I think the best you can get is 0 0.3 on this hill. Uh, 0 0.5 on this hill. That is the absolute best it gets. So I wouldn't... I don't know. Like it, it's tempting because it is cheaper. And when it works, it works far more cost-effectively than solar. But... It only really works on maps where you have high elevation or I think a high wind value. I'm pretty sure that's the thing you can set on a per map basis. At any rate, 400 is setting up quite a lot of metal. A little bit late though. Etsy, as mentioned before, was building out this expansion a little bit sooner than 400. But both players definitely focus on the expansion. They really are focusing very rapidly on their expansion. I mean, 400 is just getting quills everywhere. I mean, they have the expansion down here. They have one over in the what is effectively kind of the natural in the plateau. Building out the southwest side while at the same time getting the front lines. So yeah, Etsuri is going to be falling behind rapidly. They have expanded a fair bit themselves, but they don't have the center of the map. They don't have anything in the back. And in fact, 400 is camping out both those spots. They have a mace over in the back side just to make sure nothing can expand. And a dagger the front just to see whenever something does. But that being said, 400 is already on the case. They have a scalpel set up and that does help get rid of the mace, that opens up the entire section of the back lines, allowing Etsuri to build up all of that stuff. Now, that being said, Etsuri is not falling too far behind thanks to the overdrive. 400 has been expanding a lot from metal, but hasn't built a lot of energy, so they don't have any build power to work with. I mean, they don't. They don't have any build power in the base, but also they don't have the energy to take advantage of the metal they're getting. So, 400's commander right now is making sure to make up for that. And once this is built out, once the solar collectors are built out, it will help a ton in terms of making sure that 400's economy is quite robust. But at the moment, 400 is actually falling behind. This is actually a bit of a timing for Etsuri they can come in. 400, they are raiding, but honestly, they kind of have to. And the quill is still up over in the south northeast side, so this this little raid over the northeast for Etsuri's base is not going to be a major success. Since the quill's alive, it can easily rebuild, and with that, Etsuri is able to just get themselves in this game no problem. And with that, there's no easy way for anything to come back up into this expansion. As the quill, as the daggers and maces just patrolling out in the front. And at the same time, there's Etsuri building up the back lines. So, 400 is really in a bit of an awkward position. They've now just finally gotten the power needed to use all the metal they have, but they still don't have the caretakers or constructors or whatever at their factory to make full use of it. Most of their build power is trying to go into getting more of an economy, which is good. They do want that. Top of getting the pylon so they actually get overdrive. But this is 
a question of timing, and the timing coming in right now is really nice. I mean, the daggers should be able to come in. Four daggers will one-shot metal extractors, though they do have to worry about the fact that lotuses are a thing that exist, and can't really be moved past. In fact, these daggers are somewhat stuck unless they go around the back. If they go through here and up here, they might be able to, but the Stardust will be done in time, so no, probably not. Looks like 400 has a very strong defense that Etsuri cannot really crack. So right now, Etsuri, I just say, they should just focus on getting either a bit more overdrive or getting a bit more metal extractors. There's a lot of free metal extractors they can be taken. Or get rid of the quill. Yes, do exactly that. Get rid of the quill. Opens up this entire south side of the base. Means there's no rebuilding happening. Now, granted, this, this metal extractor is quite vulnerable and the daggers can't really position themselves so they're not getting hit by the lotuses. But... They're going for it, and there it is, the last couple shots. Do not manage to take out the metal extractor. There we go, takes out the metal extractor. At least a little bit of extra harassment, on top of the fact that the quill is not there, so the rebuilding is going to take a while to happen. 400, now actually slightly behind Etsuri. Etsuri only needs to get a bit more build power in the main base, and they have those caretakers coming up, which is exactly what they need, while at the same time setting up more of an economy over in the corners. Again, the only downside being it is all wind generators. Which means they could very easily drop down to about 35, 40 energy if, when, not if, when the wind drops to point two. So, it's a bit of a ticking clock on that one, but it'll still be more than enough than what they need. Not to mention, the wind will pick up at some point when that happens. That is going to be a massive amount of overdrive they have to work with. So, a little bit timing based, but again, they have the characters to work with it. They have the energy to work with it. They have, oh, a fusion reactor as well. So, they're actually good. They're fine. Yeah, everything they need in Static Economy has been taken care of, and everything else the wind is essentially just overdrive fodder, which is currently coming online. At the same time, attempts to go around the back to take out what 400 have built up, meeting the Stardust, and an untimely end as a result. Still, that's a bit of a distraction though, I like the fact that Etsuri is using this to expand in the backy lines, because that's what you want to do, you attack in part to cover your own expansions. But it looks like 400 is not falling for it. They have a bunch of maces coming in. They're getting in the back lines. There's not a whole, there's no scalpels or penetrators or anything, that, or lances, I guess, that would actually stop these maces from advancing. So unfortunately, these four maces are essentially unopposed. And that is going to be a huge blow for Etsuri. They don't have anything to deal with this. This expansion is essentially completely destroyed. Scalpels are coming online, but it's going to take a little while. On top of the fact that the gunship line has been built up, it's just... A really good timing for 400 to attack, as Etsuri does not have a military. Etsuri had focused quite a bit on expansion, quite a bit on getting tech advantage, and unfortunately, they haven't had allowed that to pay off, which means 400 can just waltz in here, wipe out everything with a bunch of maces, and not have to worry about it. Now, granted, there are scalpels coming in. These scalpels will be able to take out the maces. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. The thing is, maces... Maces don't get outranged by scalpels all that much. So it's actually kind of dangerous for scalpels to come in here. As you can see, the maces are destroying the scalpels. And that is the problem. The scalpels just cannot easily attack maces. They can kind of kite them. But it's a very specific situation. Maces can still fight back. Like one of the few situations where skirmishes don't necessarily beat riots. Where you have to be really careful about how you play them. Now... When, now that that's been taken care of, though, Etsuri is going to be able to rebuild, and they have a lot of reclaim to work with, so this could be pretty good. 400, they expanded a little bit during this time, but Etsuri had expanded quite a lot, and now they can easily just send the quills in and rebuild. Like, rebuild, reclaim, everything's already in position, the only downside being the halberds coming in here, but now a bunch of scalpels have been built up, so that's not too hard to deal with. A bunch of maces are being built up as well. Overall, Etsuri just has a great production base, and not to mention... Right now it's a little low, but they were getting a lot of overdrive as well, allowing them to get an even better production base for a short period of time. And they still have a decent overdrive base. So overall, it, this is not too bad. And of course, the Quills have a bunch of reclaim to work with, so yeah, Etsuri is doing fine. They have the build power, they have the energy, they have the metal. King 400, on the other hand, they are just kind of in a similar position. Got an airplane plant built up, and do have a lot of build power on that. But really not much farther ahead. Of course, the thing is, as you can see, Etsuri is kind of falling behind in map control. Like, they have the kind of the center of the map, but 400 is threatening a little bit more than Etsuri is. And they kind... And they're obviously getting in this fjord. Although that has already been accounted for. The harpies in place to help just get rid of all these halberds coming in here. 
good timing on those halberd, uh, the harpies, but even then the halberds don't have a whole lot of resistance getting into this base. So yeah, the harpies will be able to take out the halberds as they attack, but it may not be frequent. It may not be attacking frequently enough. Same time, the center of the map, we do have an attempt at Fire 400 to attack Etsuri's little forward expansion, but it's not working out too well. Stingers were a good choice. Stingers were a very good choice. As that defense is not having any problems being kept up. Same time, though, the halberds are not being destroyed. These harpies, why are you not in there? Get rid of those halberds. Those halberds are ripening up the expansion. At least maybe save one of the metal extractors. Because Etsuri is starting to fall behind when it comes to metal. They don't have any workers. Well, they have these quills that are nearby, which I guess are poised to rebuild. But honestly, they should be moving in right now. These halberds have pretty much been cleared out. And now the quills, they've got to go in and rebuild as best they can. Same time, though, Raptor's coming in to take care of the harpies and just generally dominate the air. Which might lead to flails. I mean, the daggers are being used kind of as flex they at this point. But, yeah, they kind of need some way of getting rid of the raptors, because those raptors are not going to be easily trifled with. The harpies having no luck in the world getting rid of them. I mean, able to get rid of one or two of them, but that's the cost of most of their number. And, yeah, the raptors... They should be able to clear the skies in just a second. Maybe lose one more raptor, but it's not going to be enough. Same time, though, a lot of these daggers are coming in. Dagger Scalpel Mace going on the sides, making sure 400's frontline expansion is being destroyed. So while the Harpies are being lost, while the air control is being dominated by 400, well, barely, as flails are coming into question even that, this Force Scalpel, scalpel Mace and some daggers as well, not really going out without a fight, especially against the Ravens. Raven's able to take out a few of them, but of course the frontline expansions for 400 were destroyed, which means there's not a whole lot that you can save. It's all dead. And the Raven's even trying to help out, but again, it's not necessarily going to be enough. I mean, the maces really do get rid of the Ravens. However, the scalpels not are the only ones surviving in that, so the scalpels being alive, that may not be enough. Able to get rid of one of the quills, but there are multiple quills alive. You have to get rid of all of the constructors on your opponent's side to prevent them from rebuilding if you want to do that which you generally do. So Etsuri right now, they are focused quite heavily on anti-air, and I think that's exactly what 400 wants. Like 400, if we look, they do have... Actually, no, never mind. No, 400 has a lot of air. A lot of air. A lot of ravens coming in. These flails were actually a really good choice. I was expecting 400 was just kind of tricking, but no, this is something 400 is building consistently. In fact, it seems like they're focusing primarily on ravens. As the daggers just go into their death for Etsuri. But yeah, Etsuri unfortunately seems to have a little bit of a hard time with the micro. Like I'm kind of noticing there's a lot of times where it seems like the units are being built out. And it's just focusing on all the units in the map. Granted, I'm not sure how much Etsuri plays 1v1. But yeah, as much as the game does have a lot of stuff that helps with APM. Or reducing the amount of APM required. There are still a lot of things you have to pay attention to at once in many cases in this game. And that's one of the situations where it seems like Etsuri is struggling a little bit to keep up. 400, on the other hand, they aren't really having a problem with that. Or at least don't seem to. All right, they're going around the map. They're focusing on a bunch of stuff. They are, however, losing a lot of quills. Not much was prepped to defend those quills. But it's fine. The Ravens are still numerous enough that they're able to take everything out. And the flails are nowhere to be found when it comes to any of those assaults. That is one thing I think Etsuri doesn't quite realize, is that 400 is going all... They're going hard on air. Not all in on air, mind you. They still are building some ground forces, but actually, no, I take that back. I take that back. The hovercraft's not produ or hovercraft factory is not producing anything. And the airplane factory, on the other hand, is. A lot of ravens being built up. That seems to be 400 strategy here. And the flails are up. They are online. They can be used for defense or offense, for that matter. But I don't think Etsuri realizes this. And actually, this is one of those situations where I would say a Sparrow would be very useful. Which I know has been kind of called in question how useful it is. But, yeah, the Raptors are gone. Like, there's no anti-air. I haven't seen any anti-air. And even if you do, Sparrows are cheap. It's not a big deal. But not a whole lot of anti-air has been seen. And 400... And they don't have anti-air, as we know, as the spectators. So, the Sparrow would be a cheap way of just testing whether or not there is anything. And what is being built up. Because I think if Etsuri saw that, essentially, the only thing being built was Ravens. They'd know, oh, hey, flails. Or just, oh, hey, tridents. Just go in for a lot of anti-air. Get rid of those ravens while making sure you still have some ground forces to work with. Which, I think this is a fine composition. Mace, flail, not bad. 
and then they know it would work. Now, granted, that is exactly what Etsuri is doing, despite having not scouted. It just bugs me slightly that they're not scouting when cheap scouting options are available. But then again, like I said, Etsuri clearly does have a little bit of a hard time with APM. Well, as you can see, they could be attacking this right now. Oh! Oh, it's not APM! Oh, it's ping! Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Etsuri. I underestimated you. Actually, yeah, as you can see from the records, they haven't been able to give any orders for a minute now. Shoot, I did not realize that. That's a shame. Yeah, it looks like both players are kind of having a hard time actually playing the game. I see what it means. I see what they mean. Yeah. Okay, so that, that makes sense. It's not an APM thing. I gotta remember, like... Yeah, as you can see in the logs, too. Shoot. Okay, well, I guess that's... That is anticlimactic. Sorry, I thought you know, even match on Anansonia is probably going to be a pretty good game. But looks like there were network synchronization issues that completely destroyed it. Yeah, that... That was that, so it looks like that's... Bit of oh I see it's yeah, just try to rejoin. Imagine by the time they get in here, yeah, it's just done. Well, sorry about that. I had expected that would be a little bit more of an exciting game, but it looks like unfortunately we got a decent game, which I don't think I've ever really had to deal with. Very rarely, at least. Oh well. Next match, Etsuri will be able to redeem themselves though. Etsuri on North and versus North Chilean G on Trojan Hills. So, at the very least, it's not over. Like, at least not for Etsuri to show off what they can do. Because, I mean, Etsuri's a good player. I'm, I'd be really surprised if they couldn't manage the APM. So, yeah. Desync makes sense. Gotta remember, if things are going wrong, it's probably desync. So, yeah. Be back with that in a couple minutes.